Cert Minister for Transport, Shane Ross. Oh, it's uh, Lord Ross, uh, by the way. All public transport has been grounded, and for once, it's not my fault. But, but like every other time it has been, I won't be doing anything about it either. But this is a serious crisis. The omnibus to Kingston has been cancelled. Major sporting events like lawn bowls and falconry postponed. Reminds me of the great snow in 55, 1855, when we were confined to the estate for a whole week and almost ran out of crumpets. But Grandpapa kept us entertained with the hurdy-gurdy, so it's wonderful. In other news, I will be launching the longest Lewis in the world to improve journey times on the congested Green Line. This Lewis will be 10 kilometres long, so you embark at Sandyford and you walk carriage by carriage until you eventually get to Sackville Street, whatever they call it these days. Technically, you'll still be on the Lewis. And don't forget to pay your fare, penny farthing, whatever a tram costs these days. I'll hand you back now to the Taoiseach. Cheers, dude. Look, um, this crisis isn't over, and we intend to milk it for all its pure worth. So please take steps to secure your property unless you're being repossessed by a vulture fund, which is totes your own fault, by the way. Again, we urge people, do not travel except for emergency purposes, such as photo ops with babies and things like that happening, you know. <laughs> photo ops with babies, though, cancer's emergency, or posing next to people in uniforms to make you look like a total boss. Finally, though, my heart goes out to those worst affected by the snow, mainly people who let Dermot Bannon turn their homes into glass barns. <laughs> They nearly froze to death behind 80,000 euro worth of windows. Still, at least there's some justice for people with notions. Teesh out. <laughs>